。画面左边的景象不断移动，其实是位在沙特阿拉伯的利雅得一辆车里看到的景象。驾驶员不是别人，而是远在美国加州的强生。利用意念就能开车，这不是什么奇幻的魔术，而是将大脑跟电脑连接的科学实验，让肩膀以下瘫痪的强生有能力可以用脑部操作电脑，不但能创作艺术、玩电脑游戏，甚至还可以控制车辆。How quickly were you able to see some progress? Immediately. 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 From the very first time that they plugged me into the computer, I was controlling the cursor. How did that feel? Felt awesome because I felt like a Jedi, <laughs> right? 像这样将脑部植入晶片，利用电流侦测就能控制滑鼠的方式，吸引不少新创公司跨足，其中就包含亿万富翁马斯克。There's an incredible amount we can do to to solve、um, brain disorders, act,、uh, damage that we can ultimately. Yeah, this is going to sound pretty weird, but. Achieve a sort of symbiosis with artificial intelligence. Not just the brain connected to the computer, but the brain connected to the computer. 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 And how can we instruct them to do that? And that's exactly what we did. 十年前，甚至直接在里约世足赛上展示，让脑部跟机器骨架合作。原本只能坐轮椅的前足球选手，可以在球场上踢出世足赛的第一脚。So this guy, 29 years old, a, a athlete. He was an athlete when he had the accident. He was screaming to us, "I felt the ball. I felt the impact." So,、uh, to to some degree, some degree that summarizes everything. It was worth it. The thirty years of work was worth it. 而且教授说，这样的操作也不见得要动手术植入，靠着独特的头盔加上机械骨骼搭配上 AI， 其实就可以让这样的感动成为真实。You do this for people, and these moments where you see, you now have some ability to be independent again, to have control over your own life, and to contribute again to society in a far more meaningful way. Because you can control your computer, you can work again. You're, you're helping. You're part of this. It, it goes to the fundamental question of the meaning of life, really. 专家甚至认为，像这样的脑机界面科技，甚至比 AI 智慧的影响还要惊人。Neurotech is much bigger than artificial intelligence, but by a long shot, neuroscience is one of the hottest research areas right now around the world. Okay, is one of the fastest growing fields in in science right now. Our protocol was spread around the world, but the the overall result is now that millions of people around the world that had no hope, you know, to walk or to recover from a stroke, a spinal cord injury, or Other diseases are now having that kind of hope. 不过，目前医学界对于人脑的谜团还有太多的疑问没有解开。脑机界面要像电影《骇客任务》这样普及，还需要很长一段时间反复研究。TVBS 新闻综合报道。